Hi everyone, I am doing October 2023, 2023 reading for the sign of Scorpio now. Scorpio's reading for October 2023. I am using the Tarot of Illuminati for this month. And I am going to use, um, I am going to do uh, the Lunar Eclipse reading. Just one card for you, Tarot. What, uh, one card for you, Scorpio, not Tarot. On what you need to focus on. And it's going to come from the Syrian Starseed, my favorite tarot deck okay and you're also going to get one card for the solar eclipse and one card for the lunar eclipse at the end of october which is going to be in the sign of taurus happening in scorpio season okay so let's see what's going on for scorpio the month of october what does scorpio needs to focus on on the month of october what is scorpio's energy what is going to be happening for the sign of scorpio remember i do not do reversals because Tarot has enough negative and positive cards to tell you a whole story. Um, I do not put it in a Celtic cross or any type of uh, tarot card arrangements. I take them the way they come out. If one is face up and I need to tell you about it because that means that that has a stronger message for you. Okay. So let's begin with um, Scorpio's reading for the month of October. Let's see what's happening for you, Scorpio, for the month of October. We're going to shuffle the cards five times. Three, we got four here. Let's see what's happening for Scorpio. Then we have five. Let's see what's happening for the sign of Scorpio for this month, October. Let's see what's happening for you in the month of October, Scorpio. What's happening for the sign of Scorpio? Ooh, we get two cards flipped out already. We get the four of wands, happy home, happy family. Focus on your home, focus on your family, focus on making sure there's stability there, happiness. Could be you focus on a commitment or a relationship. We see you coming into your own reading, Scorpio, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups could be giving stability and love to herself. She could also be looking at a situation very carefully. Let's see what else is happening for Scorpio on in the month of October 2023. Of October 23. Let's see what's happening for you, Scorpio, in the month of 2023. Mm, we got the Ace of Cups, maybe a brand new love, a brand new beginning in love, or looking at a brand new beginning. We also see the Four of Pentacles, but you're looking at this very carefully. You're holding back. I don't know why you're holding back, but I see two cards of observing love very carefully and seeing if you want to move forward with this. There's a hold back. It could be the hold back could be of your stability. Maybe you don't feel stable enough. Maybe you don't feel like you're ready for this commitment or this relationship. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. What else is happening for Scorpio? What else is happening for the sign of Scorpio? Okay, we got the Princess of Wands. So we got the Princess of Wands. So you're very passionate or someone is coming in very passionate towards you. Could be a fire sign. I see a lot of happiness, passionate, being passionate towards something, but you're still holding back and looking to see if you really want to make this grow. What else is happening for the sign of Scorpio for the month of October? What's happening for the sign of Scorpio for the month of October? Or maybe you're going forward passionately towards someone or something. <laughs> Doesn't always have to be a relationship, but the Ace of Cups is about relationships, right? What's going on with Scorpio for the month of October? What's going on with Scorpio for the month of October? Yeah, you're in a hangman. You're not sure. You could feel like um, a very serious obsession or attraction to this person, or maybe this person has a very serious attraction or obsession to you. You're feeling like you're in the hangman. These cards came face up, so be careful of that. You're looking at the situation very carefully. You want to know if you want to move forward with it. You're not 100% sure, but definitely we got something here that there is an offer of love. It's someone you're very passionate about, obsessed about. Be careful with having obsessions in this relationship or starting out with obsessions. Uh, make sure to hold back and look at the situation carefully. We have the hangman, again, taking a step back and looking at the situation carefully, whether you are doing this or the other person. You could be dealing with the sign of Capricorn. 
If not, you can be dealing with a fire sign, okay? And there is also a water sign here, okay? What else is happening for the sign of Scorpio this month? Be careful with your obsessions. Take a step back, you know. Don't be too obsessive, Scorpio. Hold back. Look at the situation carefully. Don't jump in without looking at it carefully also, okay? You become very obsessive sometimes. You, come, you become too hyper-focused. So you need to pull back your energy and let things flow, okay? What's going on with Scorpio for the month of October? Any more messages for the sign of Scorpio? One card flew out. We have, again, oh boy, the Prince of Cups. Maybe you're dealing with another water sign, okay? So there's two. There's the Queen and Prince. There's a Princess and Prince of Cups. Definitely a new partnership is on the horizon, horizon for you. It's going to bring you lots of happiness. But don't get too obsessed with it. Don't become too overzealous. Balance yourself out. Balance yourself out, okay? Pull your energy back, okay? Don't become so obsessive about it. Pull your energy back. Balance yourself out. Be careful with your pentacles. Um, look at the situation carefully, okay? Because there is an offer of love here, okay? What else is going on for the sign of Scorpio for the month of 20, uh, for October 2023? Okay, we got lots of cards here now coming out. We got the Ten of Swords. There's a heavy burden here or something. And we got the Three of Cups. There will be celebrations and things like that happening in your life. You'll probably be hanging out with friends. You're probably going to be celebrating with family. There is the Nine of Cups here also. So really stabilizing your emotion, balancing yourself. We got the Two of Pentacles. Try to balance your finances also. In the month of October, be careful with your finances, okay? I see you bringing stability to yourself, okay? Do not let yourself be burdened by situations, okay? Do not let yourself. This is a card of the Ten of Swords. This is like someone ending something. Maybe you ending that way of you. You know, try not to be so controlling or so obsessed with something. Let things flow, okay, Scorpio? You need to let things flow. Let things flow, Scorpio, okay? For the month of October, all right? Let situations and let things flow. Don't be obsessive. Try to balance your, your emotions. Don't get yourself overworked and overwhelmed. If there's a love offer here, don't, don't become too controlling. Let things flow. Take a step back when you feel like you're becoming too controlling and let the situation move along. Okay, Scorpio, this is what I see. You can be dealing with a brand new love here because there is an ace of cups. Okay, so this reading is not going to be for everyone. And um, if it's not a brand new love, it's a brand new way of doing things to bring stability within your home and family, taking a step back and balancing your emotions. You're going to be focused on home and family a lot. Um, if there's something that you felt like or some part of you that you felt was addicting or keeping you very, you know, making you do things that you shouldn't be doing, I see you really balancing that, that part of yourself. I see you taking actions in it, and I see you ending that part of yourself. If you've been over-controlling, if you've been obsessing about things, I see you changing that moving forward. Um, if that's not your reading, then your reading could be that there is a new love coming in, okay? I do really see you focus on your home and family also, but I also see you taking a step back and looking at situations very carefully for the month of October, Scorpio, okay? So this is your reading. It's a very beautiful reading, exciting reading, okay? Maybe a new love offer. Maybe you just balancing your own emotions. Maybe you moving forward with some bra someone brand new, but it's telling you do not become obsessive and do not become, you know, too attached too quickly. Pull yourself back. Let the energies flow, okay, Scorpio? Okay, let's see what's going on for the Lu the solar eclipse at the beginning of month. We're going to get one card for you for the sign of Scorpio for the soli solar soli. <laughs> for the solar eclipse for the month of October. What's going on with Scorpio? With the solar eclipse for the month of October. What's going on with Scorpio? Solar eclipse for the month of October. All right. Let's see. What's, what's the message for the solar eclipse for Scorpio? 
What's gonna what's the energy around this solar eclipse at the beginning of October for Scorpio? Let me see what the message is for you, Scorpio. Okay, we got one card. Okay, Ten of Crystals is the Ten of Pentacles. Really working on your finances, your stability, working on increasing your money. That is what the solar eclipse is going to do for you. You're going to be planning on how to increase money, your finances, your investment, your wealth, okay? Your abundance, okay? Now, let's see what's going to happen for the lunar eclipse for you, Scorpio. You got some good cards this month. Congratulations. What's going to happen for Scorpio for the month, for the lunar eclipse at the end of October? What's going to happen for Scorpio for the lunar eclipse at the end of October? Please show me the messages I need to see. Just one card. Let's see what's going to happen for Scorpio for the month, for the lunar eclipse at the end of October. What's one card for Scorpio for the lunar eclipse? What is the... Overall energy. Okay. Four of chalices. Four of chalices is not seeing the opportunities around you. So be careful with that. Okay. Don't let your uh, emotions overwhelm you. Do not focus on the negative. Okay. Don't focus on what you missed out. Focus on what's coming in. Okay. Because something is trying to come into your life, but you're focused on something that probably pat went away or something that no, didn't work out your way you you know something in the distant past you're focused on instead of being in the here and now and focusing in and what's coming in okay so that is the lunar eclipse message for you scorpio have a wonderful month of october and thanks for listening bye bye